Oh, come on, load up. You know you can do it. There we go. There we go. Yes, welcome everyone. We are on the final videos of text. Only have about three left. And... Man, I'm excited. Are you excited? Oh. So, anyways, let's jump in and let the very, very intense mystical gaming slash reading begin. Oh, anyways, here we go. Oh no, I'd better not miss the train. Darn thing. I spent forever trying to convince Mom to let me travel alone. If I get stranded, she'll never let me out of her sight again. Oh, I stick a microchip in her neck or something. I shouldn't have overslept. Woo! I can't believe I made it. Huh, looks like I can handle myself after all. Hmm, a new message. Hey honey, don't forget to give the fruit to your uncle as soon as you arrive. It'll spoil if you don't eat it. Love, Mom. Uh, seriously, Mom? I'll be fine. I'll be meeting Uncle at the shrine, so it's not like I'm going to be alone anyway. Oh well, I guess that's just how mom is. Mom is mom. This train is actually pretty nice. I've never been on one of these before. I'm only used to taking the ones to school, but these big ones that go across Japan are much nicer. And emptier. I'm kidding. I guess it's not really the season for visiting shrines right now. <laughs> I'm sure that makes uncle's job as caretaker a lot easier. At least I get a whole train car to myself for three hours. Yawn. <clears throat> My neck feels funny. These chairs aren't very comfortable after so much sitting. Another message? Don't forget to text me when you arrive, okay? Love, Mom. Oh, Mom, please, just let me go. Oops, this is my stop. Feels good to stretch after sitting down in that train for so long. The fresh air feels nice too. It smells like the ocean. I'm getting on the ferry right now. I'll be at the island soon. That should make her happy. I'm pretty sure the ferry ride isn't going to be too long. I should text Uncle and let him know I'm going to be at the shrine soon. Hey! I'll be at the island in a few minutes. Can't wait to see you! I hope he gets it. Last time I remember, he wasn't very good with technology. Oh, that was quick. I guess I didn't have to worry after all. Um, who's this? What? It's Maya, your niece. I'm supposed to visit you at the Asha Shrine this week. What's going on? I don't have a niece. My name is Takeshi, and I haven't even finished high school yet. Huh, <laughs> dunce. Oh no, I got the wrong number. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I should probably apologize. I'm so sorry. I must have been under the wrong number. I hope he doesn't think I'm a total idiot. No, it's not your fault. Is your uncle's name Hisashi? How does he know about uncle? That's him. How did you know? I worked for him at the Asha Shrine last year. He gave me his phone. Said it was a bigger nuisance than hell. Haha, <laughs> that sounds like uncle. He hardly used his phone anyway. He probably forgot that we even had his number. That makes sense. My mom had to send an actual physical letter to him to let him know I was coming. At least I know now he didn't, or why he didn't answer his phone. He <laughs> he, weird face. That's weird. I didn't get any calls. He didn't. I guess mom tried calling a different phone then. Maybe a landline. Oh, I'm at the island already. That was faster than I expected. The shrine shouldn't be too hard to find. It's the only thing on this island, after all. Yep. Bingo! It's literally red. Look over there. I can't believe Uncle lives here alone. It just seems like an awfully big place for just one person. I'm at the shrine with Uncle now. He says hi. I gave him the fruit. I'm glad you made it safely. How's your uncle doing? Honestly, he's a lot thinner than I remember. And he looks old. Maya, that's your uncle. You should be more respectful. Ugh, I know that. I'm just telling you what I see. Uncle really does look a lot older than before. 
Right, Mom. Sorry. I'm just tired. I think I'm going to go to bed now. Hopefully that will pacify her. I don't sell adult binkies. Yawn. Why am I so worn out anyway? All I did was sit around most of the day. Hmm. I don't see a place to charge my phone. So, you know, why don't we just kind of leave it off? I should probably try to conserve the battery. Hmm. Now's a good sleep. I feel a lot better now. I should turn my phone back on in case Mom texts me. A message already? That was quick, Mom. Hey, Maya, you didn't respond to my last text. Is everything okay? Sorry if I'm being pushy or something. I hope I didn't scare you off. Oh, no, Takeshi, I totally forgot about him. Mm. Nuts to Takeshi. Even so, it's not like we're friends or anything. It's a little creepy that he texts me like that. He'll probably get the idea if I don't write back. Anyway, I should probably get going. Uncle wanted me to go over to town and get some food today. Man, it must be difficult for Uncle to always have to cross over on the ferry anytime he wants to buy something from town. I wonder why he chooses to live out at the shrine anyway. He's only the caretaker, so he could live in town if he wanted to. I'm glad I can help him out a little bit at least. Well, I still have a lot of daylight left. I could use this time to explore the island. The stairs look like they lead somewhere interesting. I know the other path takes me to the pond, but Uncle warned me not to go there. He said that the path is dangerous, and I could fall in. Although, honestly, I just think he worries too much. So you know what? Let's go to the pond. I'm sure I'll be fine as long as I'm careful. Hmm, it's more than I thought it would be. The path next to the pond leads up the hill. Could be a problem if it gets wet. Looks like Uncle roped it off, although, as long as I stay away from there, I should be okay. Actually, it's not all that dangerous as long as I'm not on that path. Why didn't Uncle just tell me to stay off the area he blocked off? Hmm? What's that sound? Sounds like metal. <gasps> uncle! Maya, your uncle explicitly told you not to go to the pond. It's dangerous! You're lucky he found you before anything bad happened. Anything happened? What was going to happen? I didn't even get close enough to the pond. You're right, Mom. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. It had better not. As your punishment, you're not allowed to use your phone for the rest of your stay. No texting, no calls, no nothing. Understood? What? Yeah. <laughs> That's harsh, but at least I don't have to text her every day I'm here. That's not so bad. Got it. I'll see you in a week then, Mom. Well, I guess that's that. A week without a phone, huh? It could be worse. Ending three. Phone off. Grounded. <laughs> and to da we have another, oh, so interesting episode. <laughs> So, this one may have taken a little bit to get out just because I'm having legitimate computer problems. My computer battery life is crap because I'm running off a six-year-old laptop and, dang it, it's not registering the power cord anymore. Yay! So, either I send it back to the factory and they fix it in their own sweet time or I get a brand new laptop. Guess which one I want? Tee -hee. So... All I'm saying is, I'm sorry if this episode and the next ones are taking quite a long time to get out there. I'm trying to record this before I wipe everything, absolutely everything off my hard drive. So, alrighty. You've been informed. Now go sleep on it. Mwah!